A very good afternoon, Double O Hope and Choir. Great to see you. Thank you for being here today. It is Friday, and that means it must be time for Fun Friday. Today is a particularly silly one. Just be warned. Now, some of you were talking, would Ben turn up in a tux today? And I have to tell you, I came very, very close to wearing the tux, but I decided against it for a very, very good reason, which I shall explain in around half an hour or so when we start learning the Bond song. Uh, we are in the company of the great jazz masters today. We're going to have uh, a bit of input from Leonard Bernstein. We're going to sing a great song called Deed I Do before we step into the realm of mobile masterpieces. And I do have to warn you, and this will not be the last time I warn you in this broadcast, today's new song is one of the catchiest things I've certainly ever written and one of the catchiest things we have ever done on this channel. I was awake, I'm not kidding, for two and a half hours last night between 3am and 5.30 with this song just going round and round my head. I've had to start work on next week's song already just to get shot of this week's song. And I don't think I've managed it. So just to warn you, this song is going to get thoroughly stuck in your head, but I think we're going to have a lot of fun today. And it's so lovely to see so many people here chatting and here supporting each other. Lots of love to all of you. Just bear with me. As always, I need to do the all-important sound checks and check that we have everything in place. So first of all, it seems that the microphone is working. Good, good, good. Did you really? I, <laughs> Double O Earworm, absolutely. Double O H C, fabulous. Lisa says you say that all the time. I do, Lisa. And every time I say it, it's true. Okay, so see what you think. I will be very, very interested, genuinely curious to see how many of you end up with How to Rise a Bond song going round and round your head at three in the morning. I can already predict a couple of you, those those more susceptible to earworms, better better watch out because this is a particularly good one. Um, and I do know that several of you will be awake in the middle of the night chatting anyway. Uh, so <laughs> Let me just check the uh, other bits of sound. Do I have the wonderful acoustic of Patre Cathedral? Yes, splendid. Good, bit of working piano. Those all important chords. Marvellous. <laughs> Do I have my various sound files? Now we are going to have a bit of Fetch the Boy today, um, but a very special version. In fact, two versions of Fetch the Boy today. So first of all, that's good. Fetch the boy. Good. Uh, we're going to have it comes from Finland again, because I'm going to make sure these songs stick well and truly. So good there's finland and just the very start good that's the bond song i don't want to play any more than that i need to check that the ringtone is working there we are that is a, a ringtone called slow rise and that was the, uh, the, the it, that was the basis of today's show i've got a couple more to just check these videos bear with me a moment good do bing do bang do bong from the very early days of quarantine choir uh, really showing that uh, I think at that point lockdown was getting to me. I just need to check one other. Ah, there we are. See, this is why it's always, always worth double checking and doing the sound checks. Bear with me just a moment, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, you see, the video was playing, but it had the card on the top of it. Ha 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 ha. There we go. Now we will have a look. Good, good, good. I don't want to spoil the surprise on that one. But those of you that follow me on Twitter, those of you that know the great Michael Tan from Singapore, have a bit of an inkling of what's coming up. So it seems that everything is working. Whew, always good. I'm just going to double check the sound on that one. The last thing I want is to say, here we go, everyone. Ah, you see? There we are. And is the sound working on that one as well? This is why all these uh, all these sound checks and popping up and people sometimes mock me. And I say, shall I see what 10 o'clock? And they say, do you really mean 10 o'clock or do you mean turn up at 9.50 and have a chat? Ha 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 ha. But it's always, always worth it when you're doing a, a presentation or doing any kind of uh, choir rehearsal. Get there early, set up and check that everything works. There we are. So let's bring the chat back on screen. And it's my time, obviously, to welcome you all to the broadcast. We're not starting singing for five minutes yet. Plenty of time for me to say hello to all of you. 
Those of you watching us later on on Catch Up, I know that Albert will be watching us later on. Guten Tag, Albert. Hello to Jill. Hope you won your game of golf. And to everyone else who's not able to make it live today, but is a subscribed member of Home Quiet and is watching later on. Lots of love to all of you. Hope you've had a really good day at work today, whatever it is you've been up to. Uh, hello to those of you who are here live, but not here in the chat. As always, dear Helen and Bill. Hello, folks. Helen, thank you for your lovely emails about Mozart. Uh, really, really useful stuff. I'm looking forward to uh, to really digging into that. Um, hello to everyone who is here and chatting and, and live and otherwise um, who sent me lyrics for uh, the dog version of Fetch the Boy. I shall be talking about what we're going to do about that when we get to that element in the uh, in the broadcast. But we've been inundated, literally dozens of emails, uh, very much inspired, I think, by the idea of a song for and about dogs. So do please make sure you pick up the score in today's description. Uh, because it's a special one, okay? Carol, Carol W, if you're here, please do get the score for today for what is now called Fetch the Ball, and you'll see a little special thing in there just for your wonderful furry friend, Bumble. Um, so, yes. Now, those of you who are here, as I say, live and not uh, not here in the chat, I've said hello to Helen and Bill. Hello again. Hello to Anne and to Linda. Hello, Anne. Lovely to see you. Hello to Katie in Thornbury. Hi, Katie. Hello to Val and Kit Kat. Hello to Sue and Tony and Sally and Annie and Maureen and everyone else I know who uh, watches. Hello to Huyen, who I hope is uh, here live. And if you're not, a special shout out to you. And now, of course, to everyone who's here nattering away. We've got a brilliant turnout today. It really is wonderful to all be together on a Friday and to read some of you are really going through a tough time at the moment I do hope today's broadcast raises a smile because uh, that's entirely what it's about that's why we called it fun Friday you know we have our classical singing on Wednesday which is a little bit more serious and the sacred sing on Sunday which we try and take as seriously as we can uh, but fun Friday is just unfettered and very very daft today I think it's going to set a new I hate to say high benchmark, a new low benchmark for just out and out silliness. So hello to Atty, hello to Amy and to Zara, uh, hello to Alison, hello Barbara, hello to Barbara, hello to Breda, hello to Carol and Bumble, of course, hello to Kathy, hello to Christine and Peter, hope you've had a nice week in the sandbanks, folks. Hello to Dorothy, hello Eileen, hello to Liz, hello to Elizabeth, hello Emma, Emma, thank you for your words for the Bond song. Hello to Glennis, hello to Gina later on. Uh, hello to Gloria. Hello to Jackie. I don't know if Gwen's there, but Gwen, if you're there, hello, Gwen. Hello to Jane and to Jane. Hello to Jean and Ben, of course. Uh, oh, we've had a new name pop up. Hello to Anne. Hope Jeff is very well. Lovely to see you, Anne. Hello to Julie. Thank you for joining us so early. Hello to Kareth. Hello, Kathy. Uh, hello, dear Kit Kat. Hope you're feeling better. Hello to Leslie. Hello to Linda. Hello to Lisa. All the best to you and your mum. Hello to Lisa. Thank you for your emails. I need to reply to them. Really loved uh, the dog lyrics and uh, really appreciate you writing. Thank you. Hello to Marion. Uh, good afternoon to Michael. Hello to Nicola. Hello, Nikki, who is very much looking forward to this afternoon. I don't think you'll be disappointed, Nikki. Hello to Sue. Hello to Susanna. Hope Hannu is well. And hello, Terry. All right. You, you're doing all right. Excellent. Hope all's well there. How's Valentine's part today? Fantastic. So, ladies and gentlemen of Home Choir, we've got an excellent, epic show today. Some of you came along expecting to see me in a tux. There was a very good reason why I'm not in a tux uh, in a show devoted to a Bond song. And all will become clear once we get started. But we need to, to crack on. We've got lots to do. So do please enjoy today's broadcast. And uh, today is all about having fun. So do please, as I say, keep each other company, um, pop up, have a chat. If you're going through a tough time, let people know. This is the most amazingly supportive group I've ever worked with. So uh, do pop up. If you're new, do consider uh, giving us a like. And don't forget to subscribe. We're doing really well at the moment. Creeping up towards 2,900 subscribers at 3,000 mark is, uh, is on the horizon. I wonder if we can get there by the choir's second anniversary, by the 12th of March. Let's see, shall we? 3,000 by the 12th of March. That's the goal. Uh, and do make sure you've got your drink of water, everyone. Oh, marvellous. And I think we'll, we'll get started. Here we go, everyone. You know what to do. You've got to wave your fingers at the screen and make the all-important noise or we can't start the broadcast. Everyone has to do it. Everyone. Here we go. <gasps> 
Splendid. I knew I could count on you. A very good afternoon, Double O Home Choir, and welcome to our broadcast today. It is Fun Friday, and so we've got an extraordinarily silly broadcast with a little bit of classy jazz thrown in. Uh, let me tell you what we've got coming up today. Uh, we'll start in a moment with Leonard Bernstein's Do Bing, Do Bang, Do Bong. So one of the silliest songs in the repertoire, written by one of the great composers of the 20th century. Uh, it's a bit of a warm up. It's really good fun. And the video you'll be singing along with is one that I made in March of 2020 uh, before I was a live streamer, before I'd done any live streaming at all. And um, yeah, just advance warning, I think lockdown was getting to me by the time I was making the video. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, then we'll sing Deed I Do, perhaps the only serious, even slightly serious song today, um, but a really lovely, catchy tune all about love. Oh. Then we're going to take a step into the world of the ridiculous, and we're going to look at our mobile masterpieces. Of course, we've been writing these over the last few weeks. S many of you have been along to my arranging live sessions on Sunday and seen the kind of genesis of these songs and it's fair to say that as the weeks are going by I'm growing in confidence whether that's a good thing or not I don't know but it's certainly growing in silliness as well so we shall sing fetch the ball we shall also sing fetch the boy and I'm going to let Michael lead us through that uh, but fetch the ball is an updated version there was a new score in the description for those of you that want to go and get it uh, it's been updated and I hope you've seen by now Carol I've dedicated it to Bumble and to good boys and girls everywhere uh, we shall then sing It Comes From Finland for the second time. Looking forward to that uh, particular earworm getting stuck in my head. And then, of course, the big news today, how to write a Bond song. And I shall explain all when we get there. Before that, though, folks, please do bear with me whilst I just run through what we've got coming up. So on Sunday, something very different. Very different indeed. Not a trace of Bond, instead of which we shall be spending time in the company of another great master, this time J.S. Bach. So we shall sing five bits of Bach on Sunday. We won't sing any gospel or spirituals. It will be all about Bach on Sunday. And really looking forward to that. Um, some gorgeous, gorgeous music, as you can see. Salite Deo, Petrus der Nicht denkt zurück, which we learnt on Wednesday. Jesus bleibet meine Freude. Zion hört die Wächter singen. And the air on the G-string. Now, the first one is in Latin. The last one is hummed. The rest are all in German. Uh, so we're really going to be stretching your linguistic capabilities on Sunday. And then next week, well, it is Australia Day next week so Monday we're going to have click go the shears and some songs from that particular hemisphere and looking forward to that on Wednesday bite sized baroque we're going to have a bit of Vivaldi's Gloria we already know the et in terra pax and this one will be the Proptomanium Gloria and the short little fugue from the middle of that great work and then fun Friday we'll have another mobile masterpiece this time based on a ringtone called uplift and I've decided to theme the entire broadcast on the theme of being uplifted so it's going to be a uh, fun Friday to remember, one that will really lift the spirit and lift the soul. So there we are, everyone. That is the uh, the layout for the rest of the week. Don't forget, please, to sign up for the newsletter. Go to the website, homequad.org. If you haven't been, we've, we've, we've tidied up the place. All right, we've swept it, been a bit of polish. It looks really good. Go along to homequad.org, sign up for the newsletter. Uh, it's becoming increasingly impor important because uh, that's how we share all our important news and links and things like that. So everyone, Let's get warmed up, shall we? Please be upstanding. Oh, bless you, Carol. Bumble is a very good girl and she deserves to have a song dedicated to her. And I just see that we've been joined by lots of lovely people. So hello to Rona, hola to Anna and hola Jota. And to everyone, hello Jen. And um, hello Patricia. Hello Charlotte. Hello Diane and George. It is wonderful to have all of you here. I do hope you enjoy this afternoon. So let's take a couple of deep breaths in and out, everyone. Wonderful. Just continue taking these deep, relaxing breaths. It is Friday. It's very, very nearly the weekend. And those of you that are at work, it'll be done soon. It'll be the weekend before you know it. So gather up the week and breathe it out. <sighs> Wonderful. This is your time to just focus on having a nice time singing and being with nice people. So let's breathe in that lovely feeling of being with friends. And blow out anything that's worrying you or stressing you out. Get rid of it. Don't need it. Lovely. And breathe in that confidence of having a really nice singing voice. And breathe out anything that's worrying you. Good, good, good. 
well done folks continue to take some deep breaths would you everyone as you just roll your shoulders very slowly and gently around fabulous we want these shoulders uh, shaken not stirred <laughs> and then roll them back the other way very nice indeed and then bring your shoulders up to your ears please folks deep breath and as you breathe out let the shoulders fall and relax <sighs> wonderful and just a very gentle tilt over to one side and to the middle and the other side be gentle with yourselves oh that's particularly tight today and to the middle and forwards and repeat that so go the same way just a little bit further and to the middle and the other way just a little bit further if you can and to the middle and forwards and just within those three movements, folks, just let your head very slowly and gently roll around. Wonderful. Well done, you. Let's do a bit of humming and ma ma maing and warm ourselves up ready to sing Do Bing, Do Bang, Do Bong by Bernstein. Okay, so we'll start here and we're just going to hum up a third together. Ready? And again. indeed i think that's all we're going to need for now the first few songs aren't desperately high pitched uh, and by the time we get to the uh, the big number which is the bond song our voices i'm sure will be lovely and warm so the first piece today everyone is actually a video from the very very early days of quarantine choir and give us a wave here please in the comments if you were around in those early days when we had i think we hit 40 subscribers after the first four days and then it leapt up to 100 and 200. And by the time we got to two weeks, we had a 1,000 subscribers. By the time we went live with Messiah at Home, with uh, Self-Isolation Choir, this choir had over a 1,000 subscribers. So if you were one of those first 1,000, give us a wave in the comments. You might remember this from those early days. Now, there's a score for this in the description. And I'll just quickly remind you how this one goes. Actually, you've got to wreck the right key. Goes. Do bing, do bang, do bong, do bing, do bang, do bong. Do be ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. Do be ding a de bing, ding a de bang, ding a de bong. Okay, that's a very, very quick lightning recap. I'm pretty sure it's in a different key, but you'll get that key when we get started. So sing along with Ben from two years ago with various bits of kit and accoutrement. Here everyone is dubing, dubang, dubong. Enjoy. Ding, ding a de bang, ding a de bong. Do bing, do bang, do bong, do bing, do bang, do bong. Do bing, do bang, do bong, do bing, do bang, do bong. Do bing, do bang, do bong, do bing, do bang, do bong. Do bing, do bang, do bong, do bing, do bang, do bong. Do bing, ding a de bang, ding a de bong. Do bing, do bang, ding a de bang. Yeah, you could tell lockdown was getting to me, everyone. You really <laughs> Very well sung. Now, brilliant to see so many of you were with, with, with us on those first broadcasts. It made such a difference to us in those early days. And if you've joined us since, well, we do consider going back and watching some of those early videos. They're really short. That's the thing. I was making 10-minute videos in those days, and it was a lot of fun. Now, I've completely, as always, 
for, uh, forgotten to sing happy birthday. It's Jane's birthday. I know she popped in. Someone let her know because we're going to sing happy birthday for her. Dear Jane, thank you for being a wonderful home chorister. And we're going to sing happy birthday to you, everyone, after two, one, two. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Many happy returns, Jane. I hope you get to see this later on. I hope you have a wonderful day. So there we are, everyone. We are off to the races. We have had the first silly piece. Bear in mind, that was by Bernstein. And if he can be silly, so can we. Uh, we're going to sing something that's a little bit more sedate, a little bit more down to earth, but it's got lots, a lovely great beat and a lovely feel to it. This one is called Deed I Do. And those of you who used to sing with me when I worked for the Good Afternoon Choirs, uh, or even the Larks, will remember this one. This is a wonderful, wonderful piece. We're going to sing it twice, so it goes round, and there is a little coda when we get to the end. Um, honey, did I, honey, did I, honey, did I do? And then a yeah at the end. All right, so everyone, do sing with me. Did I do? Here we go. Do I want you? Oh my, do I, honey? Did I do? Do I need you? Oh my, do I, honey? Did I do? a round of applause ladies and gentlemen in fact it's been a while let's press the home choir applause button oh. bravo bravo they shout encore they say well who am i to deny the wishes of the great home choir well sung everyone and that is uh, about it for the relatively serious music making for today now just to be warned, we are going to take a step into some very, very silly places as we move to uh, the latest in our award-breaking series, Mobile Masterpieces. What do you think of the graphics? I mean, the, the budget we spent on that, absolutely fantastic. Now, we have been uh, building up this collection. We started a few weeks ago with Fetch the Boy, do not forget you have some. Now, last week we learned it comes from Finland. And we have a new one for today. But in order to make sure that we are thoroughly confident with these new pieces, we're going to sing them again today. Now, Fetch the Boy, as you know, if you've been following this series, is a song that we sing here uh, in the England household when it's time to get Bobby, our son. Uh, Anna's phone goes off with... Da -da -da, with this uh, ringtone, which is on her phone. And uh, I started putting words to it. We basically turned it into a little song and we shared it with you. And um, I thought that was that. But no, <laughs> it's really interesting. The ripple effects, as some of you have told me before, the ripple effects of Home Choir go far beyond uh, a simple broadcast. And a couple of days ago, I had a text from our very own Michael in Singapore. And let's just say he was inspired. I'm not going to say any more, but please do sing along 
with the wonderful Michael and his special guest stars, the Chinchillas. Here is a very special version of Fetch the Boy. Enjoy. Fantastic, Michael. I can't thank you enough for that. It's just, it's one thing for me to do that and to, to be silly and to, to laugh about it and for you to then come along and to do such a wonderfully classy performance. The the graphics, the video, you know, the the the, uh, the quality of the video making was superb. All of those sad little pictures of the little boys stood by the window. I mean, you haven't made it any easier to do the school run, Michael, with that going through my mind, but oh my goodness. Mwah! Absolutely fantastic. Um, that's just one of the emails we've had regarding Fetch the Boy. We've also had, of course, a number of emails uh, with this theme of Fetch the Ball or Fetch the Stick or a dog-related version. And so, as I promised on Twitter, because you all out there wrote me a whole load of wonderful words. I mean, I've got far more verses than I could ever, ever use. So this is... Basically, I took a few of the suggestions and I trimmed them and I put them in here um, and more on this in a minute. But here is the new version called Fetch the Ball. And I have recorded a special backing track. If you've got the uh, score in the description, we're not going to go in bomb, 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 bomb. We're going to be doing something else. Here is the new version dedicated to Bumble and all of your dogs. Fetch the Ball. Fetch the Ball. I'm out here standing in the rain Fetch the ball Now all the training's down the drain Don't forget to fetch the ball Fetch the stick It can't go back on its own Fetch the stick It is much more fun than a ball don't forget to fetch the stick. Fetch the stick? For little dogs it can't be done. Fetch the stick. No chasing squirrels is more fun. You are barking up the wrong tree. There we are, ladies and gentlemen, the ripple effect of Home Choir. We come up with a silly idea and you folks grab it in your mouth and run off with it. Just like the dog in this. Now, so many of you sent me words for this. So many of you have been singing this. So many of you wrote to me and to Anna and said, I just had to write this because it's been in my head, better out than in sort of thing. So what we're going to do in this week's newsletter, which will be coming out as always on Sunday, uh, we will include a link to that backing track this one that uh, that's got the woof 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 and if you want to record your own version send it in to us we will play it for you okay i want to have a bit of an over to you with fetch the ball if you and what i'll probably do is i'll send out both versions the woof woof version and the straight version if you want to do uh, another version of fetch the boy fetch the ball fetch the cat whatever you want to do i do think fetch the cat would be quite quite short fetch the cat that's the end but it's entirely up to you. Okay, so we will share that backing track with you. You've got the sheet music, send it in to us, and we will showcase your amazing work slash nervous breakdown here 
on Fun Friday. So thank you again to Michael Tan. That video is exquisite. And thank you to everyone who wrote in. Thank you to Jane. Thank you to Lisa. Thank you to everyone. I haven't even begun to, to name everyone, uh, but who contributed to Fetch the Ball. So there we are, everyone. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. Now, our next piece, we only learnt last week, but it's already a favourite of mine. And I need to grab this gorgeous instrument of mine, this wonderful, wonderful cantale, and do join in as we sing It Comes From Finland. Now, if you remember, it's based on a lovely, lovely ringtone called Silk. Uh, my team of elves have discovered uh, that this is a, 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 a based on a Chinese uh, melody, lots of Chinese instruments with silk strings. So that's why it's called silk. But our version is uh, is based on a different instrument. So everyone sing with me as we sing It Comes from Finland. Here we go. This is a cantale. It comes from Finland. Had quite a journey from there to England. It's fun to pick up and hard to master. But if you practice, you can play it faster. It's wood and bright red. It's strung with five strings. And when you pluck it, you hear your heart sing. Hey, lolly, hi, la, la. This is Sibelius, he came from Finland. He wrote great music, a fine tradition. Composed Finlandia, rallied the nation. Became a hero, an inspiration. They named a program for composition. After Sibelius, the nerds all love it. Hey, lulli, I la la. Now the Moomin verse, here we go. These are the Moomins, they come from Finland Made by Tov Janssen, they're big in Sweden There's Moomin Mama and Moomin Papa Snuck in Moomin Troll and Dear Snog Maiden The Moomins live in the Moomin Valley And they make children extremely happy Right everyone, last verse, say it with me, here we go Great things like Nokia, Turbine, and Linux, Sauna, Benicol, SMS, Santa, Angry Birds, Fisker Scissors. Great things come from Finland. Yes, we all love Finland. Wonderful. Well sung everybody thank you very much indeed and thank you again Susanna and Hannah for my wonderful wonderful cantale uh, which was the inspiration other than of course the ringtone behind that fantastic and very very silly song last week whilst we were uh, singing that one people saying I don't know what is Linux okay Linux is represented by this penguin up here and it's an operating system think Microsoft Windows think Mac OS X Linux is a free open source operating system so there you go the more you know. Uh, so is that it for today? I think no, no. We've got one more today. Uh, we, what we're going to do now, everyone, is we're going to take a step into the truly silly and bizarre. And um, well, today's mobile masterpiece is based on yet another ringtone. And the two that we've had so far have had actually quite a lot of meat on them harmonically. I mean, fetch the boy is actually a song. You know, there's actually enough there to, to call it a song by itself. Um, the silk ringtone has four chords built into it. This one is called Slow Rise, and this is what it sounds like. That's it. So those of you who are harmonically minded will know that that's... It's just C and B flat, C, C, B flat. There's a G in the middle there. Okay, that's all we had. But when I heard that, I I definitely heard the James Bond chords. And the James Bond chords are based on this sequence by the composer Monty Norman, which of course we all know. So I just thought, let's write a pastiche, pastiche, which is not 
Sean Connery ordering food from Cornwall. Uh, it's it's basically a song in that style. And you saw the card. Let me just quickly bring the card back on screen. There I am, of course, looking all dashing, if that's the word, in a tux. I thought, shall I wear a tux? And I thought, no. After I'd finished the song, I, I can't get away with wearing a tux. The tux is worn by James Bond. He's a hero. I'm not a hero in this, ladies and gentlemen. I'm a Bond villain. Today, ladies and gentlemen, if you're going to learn a song which is going to get stuck in your head for a very, very long time. <laughs> Hence, I'm not wearing a tux, and I have my cat Blofeld here, and he and I are going to teach you this Bond song. Please do grab the score from the description, as you can see here. I've dedicated it to all of you with a very special dedication, as it says. Do you expect us to chat? Say it with me. No, home choir. I expect you to sing. And one more thing. Uh, if you see the performance direction here, tremolo man non mescolato. First person to say what you think that means in the description gets bragging rights. Okay, so this is how to write a Bond song. If you've got the score, please, please, <laughs> please do uh, use it. But otherwise, we're going to have the words up on screen. And as I say, this is very, very silly. So here we go. Now, there's quite a long intro on this, but I'm going to go in with the tune now. So it goes, start with a minor chord, drop down a major third, hear how the strings are scored when you're never stirred, always shaken. Now, this is an important part of the tune because this comes back again and again and again and again. So... Okay. I think Emma got it there. Shaken, not stirred. Very good, Emma. Tremolo a non mescolato. Shaken, but not stirred. So let's sing that together, please. Start with a minor chord. Ready? Start with a minor chord. Drop down a major third. Hear how the strings are scored. When you're never stirred, always shaken. Okay, the next verse, very, very similar. The chord sequence starts again As Bond takes the screen and then Kills more than a dozen men Before the start of the movie Okay, then, it's entirely up to you. If you're soprano tenor, we go up an octave, otherwise basses and altos. You stay down here, we sing. We're writing a Bond song. Though the lyrics are quite strong. Won't be in the charts long. Cause we've heard it all before. Okay, let's sing that together. We're writing a Bond song. Though the lyrics are quite strong. Won't be in the charts long. This is one of those Bond tunes And no matter which singer croons Their career will be done soon It's the curse of the Bond song There we are. So it's entirely up to you if you go the, up the octave or stay down for altos and basses. That means we've got something for everyone to sing. Now the good news is while the tune stays the same throughout the next verse, we're hearing the leering brass, the smoky guitar sass, and the orchestra's pure class. It's a license to thrill. Horns blare and a gun aims at a tuxedoed hero, James. But he's busy seducing dames with the names of innuendo. And then it's the chorus again, all right? So everyone, please... Have your Walter PPKs handy. Have a drink that's shaken but not stirred. And here is how to write a Bond song. Enjoy. Ready? 
start with a minor chord, drop down a major third, hear how the strings are scored when you're never stirred. Always shaken, the chord sequence starts again As Bond takes the screen and then Kills more than a dozen men Before the start of the movie We're writing a Bond song Though the lyrics are quite strong Won't be in the charm And no matter which singer croons, their career will be done soon. It's the curse of the bomb song. <laughs> Let's have the next verse, Mr. Bond. Here we go. We're hearing the leering brass, the smoky guitar sass, and the orchestra's pure class. It's a license to thrill, horns blare and a gun aims at our tuxedoed hero James. But he's busy seducing dames With the names of innuendo We're writing a bomb song Though the lyrics are quite strong Won't be in the charts very long Cause we've heard it all before This is one of those bomb tunes and no matter which singer croons, their career will be over soon. It's the curse of the bomb song. I think we live to fight it another day. Home choir will return, <laughs> as will that song. Believe you me, I should imagine at about 3 a.m. Uh, tomorrow morning. Thank you so much, everyone, as always, for being with us today. As you can see, Fun Friday just keeps getting sillier, and I love it. I do hope you enjoy uh, everything we put out. I'll see you on Sunday for something very, very, very different. Bach. Lots and lots and lots of lovely, lovely Bach. And then next week, as already promised, uh, we've got Australia Day to look forward to. We've got some Vivaldi and then more silliness uh, from the Ringtone School. So thank you again for being here. Lots of love to all of you. If you're going through a tough time, well, I do hope today raised a smile. And uh, we, that is to say, I and Blofeld will see you very soon. Take care, Mr. Bond. Sleep well. The sharks have been fed. Or have they? Take care, folks. See you soon. Bye-bye.